Um, we don't have any. We should have brought some men. Well, some we don't, noise makers oh, and yeah. you we know, Bobby, it's all your fault. We can make the noise. How about no? I'm hey. gonna blame Bobby. I can't handle. Bobby. I can't handle that much noise. Oh now. come okay. on, Chrissy! Why are you being such a party pooper today? It's I'm New not. Year. Mm. It's a new year, a brand new book, oh. uh, with brand new um, pages? pages, chapters. You know, we're gonna start creating our own. Uh, we're gonna make this book fabulous. Yes. We're gonna make this year Hello. amazing. Yes. Um, that's it. What else? What else are you gonna add to that? Uh, you know what I love about kind of just live shows. Number three. And people just having a good old chat around. I love it. Like, yeah. hey, how you doing? How you doing? Look at here. Hello. So how was everybody's New Year? Um, I hope Hello. you all had a great um, New Year's. I uh, safe, of course, but also um, fun. Yes, and responsible. Yeah. And um, and I hope everybody, you know, um, I tried. Not to go with that whole cliche of oh, New Year, New Me, blah blah blah. So I kind of try to start early, but it didn't kind of. It doesn't work out that way. I think it's just. I think it's a conspiracy. They make it, like they wait to that last minute for you to say that. They want you. <clears throat> Who's they? The, no. It's a conspiracy. No. The man. The man. <laughs> the man. So you still do the New Year, New Me. I. Well, you know what? I, like I said, I try not to. Yeah. Chrissy, are we having difficult difficulties here? Technical, Technical difficulties? I think so. Can you hear me? I could just be quiet. Why well, should I just no. cut the screen, have her go? You could just feed me alcohol. Oh, oh, oh wait, listen, it's a comment. It's a comment. Oh, hello, Bobby. Bobby! Bobby, Happy New Year! Bobby. Poke your head so they know who Bobby is. Bobby's not us. <laughs> it could be. Okay. It could be you, Bobby. It could be you, it could be you TV. But, um... Yeah, so listen, did you have amazing on New Year's? Uh, so, yes, I mean, I as as in previous years, I work on New Year's Eve. Um, there's normally like a private dinner dance at one of the um, fabulous hotels that we perform at in the city. Uh -huh. um, last night was the Mandarin Oriental. Where is this? Uh, in, uh, it's a Columbus Circle in okay. the town. And it's, we were on the 36th floor, and you can see wow. the circle. The, the view is phenomenal. The party was lit. We need mm -hmm. to party with you. I know, yes, darling. Like the Mandarin Hotel. I'm a Kimi Moore girl. You all need to party with me. OK, sounds time. good to me. Oh, hello. Uh oh Oh, oh Bobby. <laughs> oh, hello. This is a, you know, a G-rated show, Bobby. Loretta. He's unplugging me. He's plugging me. Are you plugging me up? <laughs> Hubby, um, it is a G-rated, you know. Hmm. What be going on here? So, but yeah, we had acrobats. Oh, we hear. had like aerial artists. We had like dance. It was phenomenal. Fabulous DJ from the company. And it was it was a great, great night. And then we went on to the box to go and see my girl, Rocky Lanes, do her thing. And uh, I got home around 6 o'clock this morning. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, well, I definitely uh, didn't say it that way, well. but I feel like I got hit by a truck. Oh, oh no. Oh, so that, that's a good thing, though. You know what it was? I So <laughs> I never drink whiskey, ever. Oh, started, that's a strong one. I started one. with whiskey because I wanted to get my vocals like nice because my, my throat's been kind of raspy. And I was so that's what they say, to use to drink, drink whiskey? whiskey? Usually that, hot toddy is the best thing. I, I mean, hot toddy is good for you. But I, I knew I wasn't getting any hot water at this okay. point. I mean, there wasn't like a restaurant. So. Okay. I was like, all right, so whiskey, I drank whiskey on the rocks before I sang, and then after I sang, I took tequila shots, and then I took, and then I switched to my vodka club. Woo! So I mixed three different alcohols together, which yes. I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was not um, smart of me. But I didn't feel that bad today. I haven't, I don't get, ha I don't get hangovers. Yeah. I just get extremely hungry and need to eat greasy food all day and get like, ha like I get a headache. Okay, shoot. So you need to water, like, Coconut water. Hydrate, yeah. Coconut water is water. Well, That's what I like, drink. I, I tell you, I don't get oh. sick. I'm not like one of like. Oh, I get headaches. I say I need to be laid out. Uh, I get I headaches. Can you tell us the story yeah. about the time? <laughs> Why? The one time you got drunk. Tell us about. Can you tell us the story? How hilarious that was. Where, where am I? You got <laughs> Oh, when I yeah, well, it, I don't get drunk like drunk. What happens is, if I don't eat before I drink. Mm. I forget that I didn't eat and I start drinking and you know my my drinks are very soft as you know I don't I'm not a hard drinker yeah. but I just tend to you know it creeps up on you and I start drinking then it, you know so before you know it I'm like 
oh my God, I don't feel good, you know, good. And, and, and I start getting a headache and I start getting nauseous and now I can't do nothing. I can't eat because now I got sick. So um, I'm puking, but there's nothing to puke. So it's all just my yeah. bile. And, yeah. oh. and now, yeah, and it's terrible. Now it's a horrible feeling because now I just won't go away. Now it's for days it lingers. But this happens so often already that I would know, like, before you drink, go eat. You know, yeah. I have to eat. Like when I, I don't get yeah, sick I very, eat. I don't get sick very often, but when I do get sick, it's like, I All need food. like emergency IV type of sick. <laughs> that That is me, you know? Um, so, uh, uh, Am I just a hard and It's because I'm British. I think that might be I what think it is. so. Because we drink everyone else under the table. And anyone that knows me, you will know that I can drink. But what I, my tipple, tickle, tipple, is champagne. That's the thing that I oh, love. So champagne would give wow. I can drink that yeah, all I know. day. No, if you drink good champagne, darling. Oh, it has to good be the good champagne. champagne. Like? Good champagne. Like, like Verve, darling. Verve. Verve is, is my Is that thing. how it is? What is it? Verve Clicquot. Verve? Verve Clicquot. Verve. Oui, oui. Oh, you have to say it like this. Oh, Verve Clicquot. Verve. 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 Like that? Does that exactly work? Exactly like go homie. Give yeah. me that good shit. Yeah, oh! Give like, me oh. the good rosé. They're like, ah, you mean the verb glucose. Okay. Give me that French <laughs> rosé. But that is like, that is my thing. And I can drink that good all job. day. We are technically... Yeah, I had, a, like, I I had a good night though. I Did hope you? that everyone is sitting on the couch watching this yeah, and just we'll enjoying the like, craziness. Did you guys have a good um, yeah, New Year's? Did you get to do your New Year's kiss? Did you guys, I mean, you guys are both married, so. You know what though? I, because uh, New Year's is a bit, it's a very emotional thing for me. So even when my sister who is here visiting from Shanghai, Hi, even, sister. Even when she's not Come here. Say hi, sister. <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm gonna fuck that shit. Um, <laughs> even when she's not here in New York, like I've I've called her on a gig before. Please don't fire me, bosses. I called her on a gig, and so she hears what's going on. Then I scream Happy New Year into the phone, and I'm bawling my eyes out. But when she is here, I mean, I just all I know is that I was just holding on to her for dear life. Aww, that's... My poor husband, I, he didn't even get a kiss. <laughs> Aww. I was just like, and she, because she and I were just, we're, we're souls, our souls are connected. You know uh, what I mean? That is amazing. You yeah. know what? And, and that reminds me also that um, because, you know, me and my hubby are, are, are in the business for a long time. Every New Year's we have to work as well. Yeah. So uh, my children were never able to. So what I had to do was mm -hmm. I, we used to FaceTime each other at yeah. that precise moment. Oh, like, you know, and to my uh, most unbelievable moment was last night when they were with me. We were they were out, okay, yes. they were out with you. Now yes. tell us where you went, where were you? Okay, so we were at this amazing, beautiful venue called The Standard in Sayase. Mm -hmm. um, you know, humongous, it's a big space, you know, all the you know, beautiful chandeliers and the lighting, you know, it's like beautiful, you know, and, and I think now they started to understand that mom is cool <laughs> to hang out with. <laughs> So, I was so excited and happy that, you know, I didn't have to be FaceTiming or I don't have to worry about, like, we're why, right. yeah, we're rather, like, why can't we be together on yeah. New Year's? There's a party, you know, and, and I mean, I try to be that understanding mom, yeah. you know, um, they are at an age very, uh, you got to be kind of careful because mm. they are past 18, mm. but yet under 21. So it's like you want to, it's okay, but then no, it's against the law. Like yes. kind of, you know. Oh. So it's like you gotta have like a, a balance and yes. kind of like some boundaries, but like be understanding as well. Yeah. So, but you've got very very responsible children. I do. do you know what I mean? Yes, they're absolutely. Not like, they're not out on the street. Shout getting out to Gianni to, and Tiana. Yeah. Yes. Seriously, they're they're not out on the streets getting up to no no. Good, no. So. And especially last night, it was you know we had to like really um, embedded in them that you know party if you want you know have a good time you know we're here with you you know yeah. you don't don't feel like you know oh we can't because you Cause know like I understand, here. Right, but mm -hmm. one thing we did say do not drive no, yeah. that's why they have ubers for that's Thank why you. no yes. driving was because no you know what you think you might be okay even if you are okay mm -hmm. some of these cops out there yeah. they're they can be yeah. pretty it's Perks. not worth it to risk your life or someone else's life exactly. either. Exactly. Or and someone <laughs> else's life, right? It's, you know, it's, yeah. you hear those horror stories and you're like, I mean, it could be anybody, anybody. Yeah. Could. But anyway, we don't want to talk about the bad stuff. Yeah, no, no. So, but anyway, to, you know, um, it, it, it was amazing and, um, and I'm so glad that, um, 
that they were able to spend it, you know, together. And um, so that was one so of my the, greatest highlights. And this is the first time you've done it together? This is the first been... time, uh, yeah, basically. Um, you know, unless, when they were little, I mean, we'd stay home and we did local stuff. But then, um, yeah, so I'm very, very excited. And um, you see, my, but my kids are still so young. So yeah. we have never had a New Year's Eve together. Okay. Never. They uh, don't even care right now because they don't understand. Right, you know right. I mean? But do they ever care? Did you grow up thinking, oh, I want to spend New Year's Eve with my parents? I don't remember ever. I don't thinking. think they really understand uh, unless you teach them, oh, this is what we do. You know, like tradition and have them in front of the TV watching the ball drop like, and, you know. At that young age. They, they weren't? I remember, like, I, we never stayed up Didn't that they, late. Yeah, I mean, my sister and I would stay it. up and have a cookie and some milk and I'm, oh, good night, good night. Yeah. 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 yeah, some people don't even make it. Some people don't care. Like, my mother, yeah. my mother doesn't care for stuff like this. She right. goes, I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. Like, it's another day another tomorrow. Day. Like, you know. But um, but I guess yeah. we'll make of it. But um, uh, Bobby, do we have that video to show so we can give uh, the people a little bit of a Ooh. recap of how our holidays went? You didn't even ask me how mine was, but thanks. We did. No, but no, you went, you sang at a fabulous place and you drank some good drinks. We want to watch the this? video and then we're going to talk about it. I was talking about my kiss. No, I'm kidding. Uh, oh, I'm kidding. I didn't kiss anybody. Uh, uh, yes, you of, did. I, I gave a lot of kisses out on the cheek. Oh, I, I know. I get a lot of kisses out on the cheek because mm -hmm. I didn't have that one special. We'll talk about that later. One special person. To no tongue, tongue action. No, no tongue, tongue action. No. Actually, neither did I. So you know what? It's all right. It's okay. You know what? See? Yeah. No, it's okay. No, I actually was so cons I was I literally went on and sang as soon as the ball dropped. Like I was oh, wow. on stage, so really? I wasn't even focused on that. Okay. It was like Happy New Year, Happy New Year, yeah. Happy New Year, and then it was like, Okay, start singing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So I wasn't even really focused on that, which was good because, you know, when you're single and it's and New Year's Eve, it's like, you know, you want that yeah. moment with somebody that, you know, you have, you know, a connection with, but whatever. Yeah. I, luckily, I didn't have to, it wasn't my focus. Right. Good. good. So 2019 started on a really good note. Well, it started start with you on stage. Different note, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so just that's, that's the, how hopefully the rest of the year goes. And, and, and think right. about how incredible that is. I never really thought about it. Corey, who was um, um, uh, one of the people in our band, who was a beautiful singer, gorgeous, gorgeous, who we have to have on the show. Um, and he said, I think it was while we were having dinner, because we went to have dinner beforehand. And he said, you know what? I'm starting 2019. I'm going to be on stage. I'm going to be on stage singing. Like, what a great gift yeah, that is, no, to be able to do good. what you love. It's nice. Yeah. Well, if you can't be with somebody that you love, I mean, it's nice to be doing something that you love. Something with that you people love. that... You know, right, yeah. that, right. Just I'll tell you, I've, I've spent I've spent New Year's Eves with friends of mine who are all coupled up, and you just sit there like oh, with your yeah. fucking popcorn, looking at the TV like. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Well, that's no. all right, but you know what it is. Uh, I, I, I don't they believe. Got wasted. I don't believe that New Year's has, has to be like with a significant that. other. It's just uh, uh, you know, some people end up like you do, you know, working it, you know, yeah. and mm -hmm. just focus on that, not so every year. Every year since I've been singing in this band, we've been and it's fun. It's fantastic because you get to celebrate with a bunch of strangers, true, yeah. but also your band whom you know and you love. So it's fantastic. And you are, and when you take it all in, I'm on stage right. singing. Oh my goodness, it's a new year. Mm -hmm. How it's amazing good, and how blessed. Feeling, yeah. right. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's good. And you're at a party, so. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're going to go. We're gonna, you want me to open the thing? Later? Well, I think we should, but we should have a, a moment to open it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe after the video. Okay, okay, so let's see. Let's see a little recap of um, all of our, uh, you know, even though you girls, I wanted to, for you to submit more pictures and videos so we can keep it going. You know, yes. here I am. It's all about me. No, a, lo a lot of my footage cannot be submitted for public viewing. Oh, yeah, oh mine. sorry. <clears throat> mine too. Anyway. All of, all of my guests that came to parties at my house or oh, whatever else, okay. they, they, was, they had to sign yeah, a, a, this, no, a DNA. Right. No, NDNA. MD <laughs> this M is a G-rated uh, show. Thanks. But anyway, let's check out that recap. Okay. Feel your heartbeat, beat, beat. pounding like the beat of a drum. I can hear your heart speak, telling me it thinks I'm the one. Oh, yeah, for two. Run up on me, tired, still on the nose. When we feel so happy, we're not crossing, keep the night around. Get up in it in the city club. Yeah. 
Who likes that uh, 2018 trash bag out? Oh. <laughs> trash. But it wasn't trash, though, was it? Was no, it? no. I'm just saying, like, you know, every uh, you collect all yeah. a 2018 from yeah. the trash bag, buy, like, now it's brand new, a brand new year. Like, yeah. you know what goes in that bag? Yeah. All the negativity, all the um, downfalls in your life, yes. all the drama. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so over this freaking drama already yes. people grow up please let's leave that behind let's grow up let's be freaking uh human beings here let's love one another together let's support one another yes this is ridiculous okay 2019 uh, yes let's go let's pop that baby you know okay. so all that stuff you know all, all that goes in that trash bag that, you know, new beginnings, a new year, like I said, a new book, new pages, new chapter, um, you know, and we'll take it from there and let's make the best out of it. I just know for a fact that 2019 is my year. Okay. Hallelujah. Did anyone make New Year's Eve, New Year's resolutions? I mean, I don't know. I don't want to make any. Oh, no. good. I, I don't want to do that. That's why I said I don't want to be like, New Year, new me, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do well, No. Okay, I already know what's going to happen this year. Okay. So. I just so told sorry. myself so that sorry. I would have higher standards when it came to how I allow people to treat me. Okay. Friends. Well, of course, absolutely. Just Let's, better, just, just more. Just keep an eye out. Just more confidence, too. Just more like, I mean, every year I feel like I get a little better with, the, with the, you know, with aging. I, I get more comfortable with who I am and, you know, everything that is me. But right. Um, I'm definitely just over overthinking everything and over putting my you know putting my um, putting myself second. Like, Absolutely, but well, every year giver. I'm such a lover, which I'm is a never giver. a like, good thing. It doesn't matter. You can be a lover, you can be a giver, but you have to come first <clears throat> until you have like offspring or whatever. Even if you do, I'm sorry. You have to come first because if you're not your best self, you can't be great for anyone else. Right. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yes. 
and you treat yourself the way you want to be treated, so someone else will come into your life going, hmm, she, she, even if people are like, oh, she's so bougie, or she thinks she's this, or, yes, I think I'm that, because I am. Right. Mm -hmm. And if I don't yep. treat myself that way, you're not bloody well going to, because you're not, you don't think I deserve it. Right. Yes. Bloody. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, damn so it. no more. Is that like, damn it, bloody? Self-doubt, yeah. no more, you know, I just feel like I just want to be good to people. I want, I just feel like I think more people need to just be good to each other. I think you that. are good to people, and the thing is, you deserve to have that reciprocated. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, and I know a lot of people do a lot of soul searching and sort of trying to sort of fix things come the new year. I don't need to do no soul searching. I know why I found myself. All is about I me now. I love me. It is no, about no, 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 it's I'm not about anybody ma. else. It's about my, me and my family. That's all I give a damn about. Okay. Um, you know already, you know, I got new music coming out. Oh my God, so excited for this. Um, I, I just got, asked her what's happening with yes, it. Yes, new music is dropping soon, people, so be on the lookout. Um, I got shows already booked, you know, be doing performances. Um, I'm doing a lot of, inter oh my God, so just things are starting to, you know, actually, um, for 2019, definitely. So how do we do this eye contact thing again? Before oh, I have with three people. I don't, want, I don't want New Year uh, 2019 Listen. to start off with bad sex. Listen, you know? I did a lot of three-way toasting last night. Uh-huh. So how, this, please so show we, us. So we, the glasses meet in the middle. Okay. We do crazy eyes of going from eyes to eyes to eyes to eyes to eyes to eyes to eyes. To eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make sure the glasses touch. No, wait, no, no, don't look at the glasses. You can feel them touching. I'm trust, get it all over trust computer. that it's touching. Trust that it's touching. There it's you touching. go. There you go. Eye contact. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. To 2019. <laughs> 2019. 2019. Woo! Mm -hmm. Weba! The hair of the dog. Mm. Can I say, Linda bought me this, by the way. This is like. Verve Coco, everyone knows. Verve Coco, when you finally start watching the show. Oh my God, I gotta show. learn how to say that. Verve Coco. Verve Coco. So I have to go the pen. You can barely speak English. I can. I, I'm French. in between. I'm Here's in Spanglish. I'm speaking French. French. I speak Spanglish, okay? <laughs> Brooklynese. So I have a collection at home, but I have never really had the rosé, so I'm I'm excited to actually be taking I the rosé. So, oh my God, I'm so yeah. honored. Yeah, no, I love it. So I wait, how do you say the Verve Coco? Oh, well. Verve Coco. Verb click Oh, verb click Is that good? Think of Verb Verb click She got it. You know what I asked her to say. See, you gotta break it down to me like that. You know, I'm more about being bold. Hello. You gotta be like straight up, say how it is, and that's it. I don't, you know, like to be around the bush and, you know, this is a, like, say how it is. What you gotta say, how Thank is you. it? Okay, that's it. Thank yeah, I'd like you. to know where they got the saying beat around the bush from. It makes no fucking sense. To me. But you I'm know sorry. what? Sorry Actually, you that's, that's, you know what? Does anyone know where does beat around the bush come from? Anyone? Because it's just trying to say, like, you want to come out. Where did the expression beat around the bush? Yeah, and and who's beats beating around it? the bush, Thank and what are they you. beating? Who would, why and why would they be beating it? Like, what well, why does it gotta be around a bush? And what bush is it? It's not mine, darling. It doesn't exist. They got no bush. <laughs> I don't know. Eat, maybe they were like, eat around the bush, and then they Ooh. turned into beat around. Who knows? Ooh. I don't know. If well, you eat around the bush, what's the point? Get up. You don't do anything. <laughs> No. I don't know. Don't Just don't beat around the bush. That's all it says. That's what the saying says. Why well, you gotta stretch it out, make it more seem than what, what you know what it's trying to refer to. You know I where can't. I came up with this question? I just couldn't because I watched Ellen. Ellen has a special out on Netflix right now. It's Ooh. called Rel uh, Re Relatable. Okay. What is um, it like? A, is it like a stand-up stand comedy? I want to see she it. She hasn't done stand-up for fifteen years. I want to see. I so saw the story. A yeah. On Netflix. And of course, she's just. She's so amazing. Was being charismatic and yeah. funny, and um, and she was asking like these questions. She's like, "What is? How is a, um, a bird in the hand worth two in the bush? Who had a bird in the hand and said, <laughs> you know, this is better than two in the bush?" <laughs> And, I've never even heard of that and expression. And I kept thinking to myself, <laughs> that's so true. Like, where do these what things? What sense does it make? Right? I've never even heard of that. Too. Like, yeah. there's other sayings that she brought up that I was like, that's so right. Like, where do they come up with these sayings? Yeah. And um, I guess it's the same thing with, you know, some of our, our like, um, slang these days or, like, you know, our, our um, oh, urban, gosh. like, our urban dictionary yeah, stuff. Like, which, yeah, But still, it's like... Who comes up with them and how yeah. do they make it so that everyone Like, this is the best speaking. thing she was bringing should up. We look up should we look up in the bread. urban dictionary? What does that mean? Yeah, she said something funny about, um, oh, sliced bread. She goes, who... 
Oh, Who yeah. came up with the expression, this is the best thing since sliced, sliced bread. bread? Because, you know, she was like, bread's been around for how many years? I mean, knights in shining armor back in the day, and they were just, right. what, they would just stab it with their knife, and, yes. like, nobody thought about cutting it back Thank then. You. But then somebody one day just finally was like, you know what? I'm oh. going to slice this Yes. Bread. And whatever I'm doing now is better than sliced bread. <laughs> oh, it was funny. She's, um, she's one of my favorites. But yes, she's yeah, I do. I, I do love too. her. I do. I'm gonna watch her. I've never, I've never seen her do stand up actually. Um, it was. I, yeah, I wanna it's watch. been a long time. But yeah. yeah, her special obviously is a lot revolving like her life and her career and how yeah. she started and people doubting her. When yeah, she, I know. You know I she heard. Came yeah, out no, I was gonna everything. say yeah, the coming out. So, so yeah, but look yeah. at her now. I mean, she stuck to who she was and look, she's. I mean, the most popular uh, daytime talk show host. Yeah. I Aside know. from Oprah. Well, that's it. And Oprah's left the daytime world, so that's why Ellen can now. But seriously, I mean, it's phenomenal. The women. Women are taking over. That's right. Girl power right Sisters here. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Yeah. Oh, R.I.P. Aretha Franklin. Oh. Yeah. Well, how, how are you liking my glittery? Uh, this is why today okay, I so said. Sparkles. All it does, no, it that. doesn't do that. It's, it's it's it no, does no, do she that. just wanted to feel your business. You that. did. She didn't have to do right. that. No, she had to do that. There was a piece of it that <laughs> She doesn't even have to ask. She can just, just do, do it. it. <laughs> and you're like, I don't even know what this girl makes me do sometimes. Oh, she, I can guess. Uh, this isn't G rated. <laughs> this is not G rated. <laughs> it is G rated. Bobby Ryan's G rated? No. <laughs> oh, PG. Oh, PG. Okay, thank you. I stepped it up a bit, you know? PG. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all my fault. <laughs> Why do we gotta be blamed? I make it interesting. 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 If you want a PG show, go watch Disney. Ooh. All right. Are we a Disney show, Bobby? You look like a, ca a cartoon, so that works. Oh. She look do I look like a cartoon? Yeah. Um, which oh. cartoon? Which one? Which one? Which character? Well, I mean, like, she would be turned into a really good cartoon. If, like, which one? Think I about think. It. So, do we have a Barbie? Cartoon? No, I want Barbie somebody, doesn't exist, I've right? I've got some artist friends out there, and yeah. I really uh, like and the challenge. Latina Barbie? They need to make a Latina I'd like, Barbie. No, no, no. I was going to say I'd like a challenge for some artists out there to make cartoons of us. Yes. Like, I think we'd all look really good as cartoons, like, oh. as our... But don't they have those apps that you can make, um... Yeah, bitmojis. I'm talking about okay. actual, like, a like, real, somebody, like, like real artist. actually writing, like, like drawing a picture. Yeah. No, and, not, and I don't mean the ones where you go to those, like, sweet 16s and they have a character and they make your head okay. big and your yeah. little body. Yeah. No, yeah. not that. I, I mean, have like, one of those. I mean, like, real, a real cartoon. I know who could do it. Corey Wade, Corey Wade, Corey, Corey Wade. Wade, calling Corey Wade, calling Corey well, Wade. Do you remember besides the Barbie? Besides, I don't know. This was just recent. Even before you, um, remember when you first came over to interview me? Yes. Um, you know, I've heard this. I've never heard this years back, but as of late, I must have heard from two different people that phrase that they say, "Oh, you're like the Latino Barbie." So it kind of like stuck, and that now you know stuck. Is that makes yeah. sense? And and I just oh my hashtag, oh I'm Latino Barbie. So yes. now if anybody noticed. Uh, or you did it, I'm letting you know. So we did a little revamping with the uh, Could Be You TV show logo. And I said, you know what? Um, I'm looking for something that now, because of the brand new year, I think I'm stepping it up a little bit, um, represents me as a woman, mm -hmm. um, taking control, girl power, trying all this femininity thing going on, you know? Yes. And I just wanted to feel yes. a little bit more sultry, cutie, girly type of thing. Yeah. So I'm like, what can I relate to, you know? And, <coughs> you know, this whole, you know, a lot of, um, you see a lot of things, clothing and all that with the mermaid thing. The mermaid's like very popular now. Yeah. But for me. It's very feminine as well. Yeah, right? but also I always because say, mermaids, especially yeah. in the summertime because we spend so much time in the, in the water, water now because, you know, now we have a boat mm. and, and some jet skis and, you know, and I, I love being, I just love being, out. Me, yeah. meanwhile, I'm not like, I don't swim in the water. Like yeah. I'm not. A, I'm not a swimmer. Yeah. I just love to be in the be water in the like water. that. So I say yeah. everything is uh, mermaid life. Mermaid life. Mermaid life. You so know. So you're more like Ariel. Yeah, yeah, I guess. She can't go back in the water. <laughs> she just likes to hang out outside the water. And, That's me. So and when I, I look beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So when I came up and I and I created this concept with this um, the icon, the 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 symbol, which is the mermaid, she has the ponytail like a Barbie ponytail. Yes. So I'm like, look, like the way, you know, my ponytail. So yeah. it'd be like, okay, so it's the Barbie mermaid. So that little mermaid you see that could be UTV. Um, so it represents, you know, the La Latina Barbie mermaid. So what would the hashtag be? Latina Barbie or uh, Latina Barbie. Latina Barbie? No, just Latina Barbie, yeah. hashtag mermaid Barbie, yeah. you know. Mermaid I'll Barbie. make I'll make up my own, or we'll make up our own, okay. you know. Yeah. But I just thought it was funny. I was like, you know, I finally found I something that. that I can relate to, um, you know, and, and it's just easier to, oh, just find me a hashtag Latina Barbie, yeah. or 
Latina mermaid or whatever, you know, it's just like, it's just stuck, like, you know, like you said, uh, when you have heard what people would say, oh, you like It makes Latina sense, Barbie. it makes sense. I was like, like oh, okay, because even before the Barbies, you remember the, 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 the brat dolls? Yes. Do, do they, they have the big heads? No. Yeah, what, they no, kind of yeah, like, yeah, and they I, had the protruding I, lips yes. and all that. And because I tend to do a lot of the, you know, the kissy faces yeah. and stuff like that, and with the ponytail, very dramatic, yeah. you know, so they used to compare me to the brat dolls, yeah. you know? Yeah, So, um, so I just, you know. <laughs> I so like now, Latina Barbie. Latina Barbie, yeah. yeah. But she, she stepped, they, she, they come a long way, like Barbies. <laughs> so. Seriously, they have. Have you seen yeah. them? Anyone going Christmas shopping this past holiday season? The Barbies have come a long way. Yes, they have. And it's fabulous to see. There's every skin color. You guys don't know because obviously your kid, kids are grown up and you haven't done I it know. yet. You'll get that. By the time you start shopping for Barbies, you'll be like, what? There's every skin color, every shape, every size. The fashion is fabulous. Wow. OMG. It's like... It must be fun for uh, for, for you to shop because oh. you're like, oh my God, look how cute it is. You know, it's not I your typical just like... Yeah. Blonde with the precisely with the what hair that with, <laughs> what we grew up with. She was with the straw thin. head. I had a Barbie. I remember she had like purple like looking eyes. Like she had like violet oh, wow. eyes and like wow. dark, and like wavy, Elizabeth Taylor and wavy like brown hair. And it was yeah. like my favorite Barbie ever because she wow. was so different looking. Yeah. Same like Barbie face. Right. But the colorings were different. And what I was just, her name? Oh, was it a Kira doll? Was it? No. Because I was looking up some. Uh oh, I hope my family I, in Germany are not then, watching because um, I was trying to get them. Yeah, no, and then I had like a bunch of Barbies that I like, I actually altered myself. Like, <laughs> I can do that. What in did a, you do to them, um, Chrissy? So I had one Barbie called Freak Barbie and. Excuse me. You see what I'm saying? I, I you see what I'm saying? What I have to do when she said that I make her do things? I, I cut off, I was little, I cut off, I was very yeah, it starts, artsy. It starts, I was very, it starts when you're listen, little. I was creative and artsy, and I yeah. wanted a Barbie doll that was like a punk. I wanted a punk oh, rock I love Barbie. Yeah. So I called her Freak Barbie, but now that I'm older and I know that it's yeah. more associated punk. Yeah. And I cut the, all the hair off, and I, yeah. I highlighted, I took like markers, and I put rainbow in her hair, and then I gave her a nose ring. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that a. I had my nose ring, but oh I, I I gave I, I drew a, a, a hoop nose ring with yeah. the marker. Yeah. I put black eyeliner around her eyes. Yes. So she's like a goth black, yes. black, she's a goth Barbie. Black lipstick. She's a creator of goth Barbie. Black lipstick, and like I gave her this cool leather jacket, like Barbie. I had like Hold a on, Barbie Mattel, if you're watching, is it Mattel that makes the, these dolls? They're gonna do it. I oh, we have a patent it already. I so had a lot of you can't I had a it. lot of creativity when I was little. Now, obviously, this is before internet and all that. So, yeah. like, I was always a painter and an artist, and a, you know, drew and, and wrote. I was. I'm so glad know, she's getting arts. actually back into it. She showed me some of her I paintings. Am. They're amazing, and, and, and um, she yeah. Yeah, she I just should. want to do more of like. That's what you should do. Like, Focus. Do more. Yeah. I have yes. a lot of talents when it comes to like creativity and painting and artsy and stuff, yeah. and yeah. I never have the time, but I have so many. Like I wanted to do like paint night. I wanted to like start my own paint night business and wine glass business okay. and like painting on stuff. But yeah. just kind of like there's just so much. And I work a lot, so it's hard because when I have the time, I'm for once like either relaxing or I'm getting it like I'm doing the show or I'm trying yeah. to. Okay, you know well, what? Now for you have to start. Yes. Yeah, because this is this is something that makes you happy, and I know obviously you have to work because to, you have bills to pay. Do you know what I mean? Yes. But like it's making your passion profitable. I said this to someone this morning. I like that. You know Making who you your are. Passion profitable. Precisely. I like because it. at Precisely. the end of the day, no, listen, seriously, if you think about it, how many people are we hearing dying of our age range or whatever oh else? And I'm God. like, never yeah. you to, can't yeah. you can't you can't wait till mm, I'm gonna wait till look before I do it. No. If it's your passion, mm -hmm. find that's what a way I always say. I always say that. I have a lot of passion. Listen to Gary V. Do you know Gary V? Gary V. Or even Tony Robbins, or any of these guys. And it's always the guys. But Oprah is the biggest one. Who's just like these people that found what they're what they're what they're really good at, what they're passionate about. Make it work for you. Mm -hmm. So it gets to the point where you're not going to work. You're going to do course, what you love. Yeah, and it's absolutely. like, wow, and I'm actually making money from doing this. Yes, yes, Linda, you can speak now. No, I'm saying that would be me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll yes. Be in a classroom. Yes. By the way, I Seriously, just wanted right? to say congratulations to my brother and my sister-in-law because I am a new auntie. Yes. Oh, congratulations. When was the baby born? The baby was born a couple days before Christmas. Oh, my God. He was a little early. Congratulations. Congratulations. Is Domenico Anthony. My Domenico? Little, Domenico. 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 That's Domenico. beautiful. It's Nico for short. You know, they were very, we're Italian. Mm. He wanted to keep it Italian. Mm. I respect them for that. Mm. Um, but 
but I, I haven't posted, like, they're very private, so I don't post, no, that's you know, good. Respect the pictures that. of the baby, yeah. and, and but, oh, my God, I'm just, I, I can't wait to go out there. I'm going out there, so I can't wait. Wow. Amazing. I can't wait. Wow. So congratulations, on team. Christmas, Christmas baby. Christmas, Christmas baby. baby. Oh. And now I got to take a trip. Where to? Texas. Oh. All right, we're going to Texas. We're going to, we're Texas. going to Texas. Maybe I'll find me a cabin right out there. Texas. Ooh, after Texas. Yes. Watch, after I watch The Star is Born, I'm kind of like, I'm like in love with Have where you, You've seen it, right? Like yes. The whole look oh, of him my in that gosh. Movie. I like, still haven't seen it. I help that. you. I need like a sexy cowboy. Well, like I'll help you find one. Oh. I'll be, yeah, I'll be really the scout. Have, I don't really have a taste. Like I don't really have a taste in guys. I like dark hair. I like dark features, mm -hmm. and I like like a man. Like I like a rugged, like manly mm -hmm. man. The like um, Marlboro man. <clears throat> guys, without the cigarettes. Are you listening to this out like there? Anybody man. of you uh, fit that criteria? Um, you know why? And be, I got a thing for beards. You know, what it is, it's a thing. A thing it's beards. a real thing, baby. There's something about a beard it's somehow just, so just transforms. Oh, it's like somebody said it's like makeup for men. It is. That's exactly, I don't know. That's I can. You. Oof. I mean, so a lot of. I don't. I'm not feeling it. I Oof. don't. Not at all. I'm I mean, feeling it all over. Oh, I'll tell over. you. I seen your husband with a little bit of scratchy. Beard well, that's different. Yeah. That's you different. No, that is different. Well, he has a, a little scruff, yeah. what makes him uh, rugged and yes. sexy and all that. And I love that. And he. Yeah. But when it tends to get grow into a beard, first of all, he's never in his life had a beard. Yeah. yeah. I'm not crazy um, about the long Santa Claus beard. No, Sorry, Santa. I, I know you were Not even really stand. It's just like, it's just too much. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't find. And I some guys guy. definitely do not rock no, a freaking beard. Please do not. If it doesn't suit you, do not freaking sport a, we a, a freaking beard because it <laughs> just looks insanely stupid. See, the thing is, now how do they know what if their face suits a beard? <laughs> when the girls start looking at them, <laughs> like crazy, like and start giving them compliments I and start giving say, them a winky eye. Yeah, there's so many guys out there that post on social media like what they look like before they had a beard yeah. and what they look like after, and like the difference is so big. Some can rock it, you know, but some can, guy, but... Obviously not yeah. every guy looks better with a beard. Like, yeah. there's attractive men that don't need a beard and they yeah. look good with... Like, like put it this or, way. So when you yeah. see these men who, who can rock a, the bald look, yes. you know? Yes, yes, so yes. what goes That's with the bald look? Do you yeah. have to have that goatee, like that no, beard to... type... No, I don't but like it goes. Structured either. I don't like it if it's like. No, but it goes really, hand in really, hand. Really quiet. But you see like mostly no. uh, most like bald Tony men with like. with beard. It's yeah. like it goes hand in hand. Like you don't really see a bald guy with no facial you hair do, whatsoever. Bruce Willis. Yeah, you do. Bruce Willis. Not as often as. Ooh, Bruce Willis. All right, so okay, do you Bruce find Willis. It weird, though, that they'll lose their hair on their head, but they can still grow it hair. It is crazy, else. right? And it's not fair because they should just rip it off and stick it. on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> Just like, just cut this yeah, but off. some men love right. that that bald look, you know. And I'm sure a lot of women are kind of like. But you have to be good looking to be able to. Oh, rock I don't the bald mind look, a bald right? guy, but like, I mean, and then uh, their caps well, and stuff, like, especially who, if they wear who, hats and beanies. Yeah. And stuff, <laughs> who's like to say that. who's good looking or not? I know, well, that's the thing, because when they're not and it's their bald, and it's like I feel bad. But if your if your if your face is like, it's about the structure. So if your face is structured correctly, and I know that's kind of wrong, but if it's sym symmetrical, it's a bit <laughs> a good strong nose. Big eyebrows, full lips, high nice cheekbones. Nice body to go with a bald guy. Two eyebrows. You know what? You can't eyebrows. have a bald head and a bald, with a big belly, right? I'm not a fan of big bellies. <laughs> On a. <laughs> I don't mind jazz. Like, it has to be, though, you can't, like, rock a bold, you know, and belly, and you have to choose your Listen, struggle. I'm not gonna, well, I'm gonna tell you right now, yeah. I know many men, very sexy men, yeah. who are bold and yeah. are not fit, but they yeah. have, like, a little bit of meat or whatever, and they are perfectly fine with me. See, everyone has, see, see there's always someone for everyone, because everyone has different tastes. I don't tastes, like guys which is that perfect. are in the gym, like, I, no, I, I don't, don't no. my husband's not in the, reason, my dear husband's never I been in a gym. Into it because if I'm looking at you, and right? you look like you're in the gym every day, and then and you look more, at me, and I'm like, exactly. dude, like, I like to work out here and there, but I also like to fucking, I like to eat, and I like to Thank you. I do, like, yeah, no, absolutely. I, you don't want a guy that, not just looks better than you, but they're so, like, no, we have to be in the gym. Well, Seven I days think a week, people like that, you know, well, no. what happens is, you know, you wouldn't really be dating somebody who's in that scene because people who are, you know, of that nature, um, they that's what they live for you know yes. they wake up they yes. so they need to find a partner uh, that, that is, is that the exactly same. they go they wake up they yeah. eat the same food already yes. prepped meals go to the gym work out there yeah. are 10 hours in the gym that they do you know i um, want a guy to wake me up with you want to do brunch right. that's what i want you the want you want bacon or you want ham no, i want a guy to wake me up with the sausage right well, hmm. and then really go what get kind sausage. of sausage do you want to eat you know what kind of sausage anyway <laughs>
<laughs> but you know, to each, you know, you have to know what's your match. No, definitely yeah. not. You yeah. know, if you're not gonna have a bodybuilding guy, yeah. and you, you know, you're no, not in I'm the not gym. No, but I'm not even as... saying I'm not going. I wouldn't go. No, no, for but that, I'm saying that even, even. I don't even have an attraction yeah. to yeah. guys yeah. that are that big. I just yeah. don't. And like, and it's not because I don't think. It looks I'm just not attracted well. to them. Right. Well. I'm just not. Yeah. I think that look, that bodybuilding look, is yeah. so like, I don't know, 80s, 90s, sort of to, you know, what's in now? Like yeah. what you see is yeah. that athletic the slender body. Slender athletic yes. system, like, yeah. That's I like, like a little track. hair yeah. on the oh, chest. Oh, I love a lot of yeah. hair. Well, I don't oh. like hair at all, oh, but... <laughs> I just like everything. hair going all the way down no, there. No, 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 no. I don't know. I like the clean cut. I like clean. I like clean. Oh. But it, it is attractive to see that, you know, you, mm. that lean. I don't lean. like a guy that shaves. No. The arms, like, if First, yeah, stubble, he has no, to no. be, no. he has to be just like my husband. Oh, there you well, go. I mean. Well, then he should probably just be your husband. <laughs> And we can just, we can just Listen, I'm allowed to fantasize. I'd be, I'd be okay if I could clone uh, I'm, I'm you. I'm allowed. I'm a, thank you. Thank oh. you so much. I appreciate it. You hear that, Richie? I, I Richie, told you that, Richie, I think you're handsome. You know that. I've told you before. He is handsome. And I've and told him beautiful. before how many times I'm like, where can I find a Richie? Yeah. So does he have friends? And not because oh, he does have friends. Okay, no, but like, who would you introduce her to? Nobody. Okay, so what happens is um, she she is in a different... Um, Age, age group, yeah, you know, doesn't, so, doesn't so matter, that are right? yeah, because you know what? No, no, no. What I'm saying is already the, the, the our friends are right? already oh, already or they were married or they okay. have this or they're not her type. You know, like right. I wouldn't set her up with just you know, like don't name names. I'm not very no. particular. No, no, I'm saying like I like mean. somebody of our who already been there, done that, yeah. and you know what I'm saying. Like she, listen. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna make sure I am her, gonna be her lawyer. I am gonna be her spokesperson, and I am Tom gonna Jerry. evaluate. You to be, you and to be I'm her gonna, wing woman. I am her wing woman, and I am gonna. I'm gonna be very judgmental, yeah. and I'm gonna know. I'm gonna. They gotta go through me first. Yolinda's got a new job for 2018. Yes, I love it. She's gonna be my. I'm interview gonna. That's right. My I, interviewer. I'm gonna say yeah. yes or no. Simple as that. Yeah. Um, and I believe that Lucky Bobby. To get to that point. Uh -oh. Bobby. Um, also, I wanna congratulate Bobby. Bobby. Um, congratulations also on your you know new endeavors with the show. Um. You know, his network here is actually getting a very, uh, very popular with a lot of brand new shows, a lot of um, excitement, a lot TV of, station, you know, we yeah. all, the TV station Taking is doing amazing. Um, also, you know, we're going to be revamping the show. We're going to be coming up with a lot of ideas. Yes, we got a lot shows. of. But within one of those shows that yeah. Bobby has, right? Bobby, you have like a, a dating game coming soon? We have a dating yeah, there's going to be a dating game Good thing coming he said through. that. I'm glad he said that. Yeah. Come on down, Bobby. Tell us about this Tell us about game. the dating game. He's not mic'd up. Why aren't Get I... Get mic'd um, up. Do you have a regular mic? Why aren't I the, the host of mic? the show? I'd be perfect for that. Oh. Well, listen. No, but you can't, be the, you can't be looking for the date. You have to no. Be a, you have to be um, a I'm guest. not looking for... I'll tell you, 2019, uh, guess yeah. what? I'm not looking for anything. There you go. Oh, let it come I'm not you. looking for anything. You don't look. That's right. Okay, because I was going to ask you, what do you think about dating apps? Um, I well, this is something I actually talk about on my talk show, okay. um, keeping it real all the time because I'm very, you know, at my age now, being in the relationships I've been in and using dating sites, and I think a, a majority of people out there who are single have tried it at least once yeah. or are doing it now. And yeah. I talk about this a lot because it's it's really not easy out there. And like for me personally, I don't think the guy that I'm going to be with is on a dating app. Um, and I've been why? With people why do you say that? Because. I don't know. Like I'm a very particular person, and awesome. then the, and then also like the guys that we meet are kind of like fair weather. Like they're there one minute, they talk to you, they seem interested, and then the next day, kind of like, all right, what happened? Like, I mean, did you start talking to five? Do you no? You're here with us. Hi. Um, do you do dating apps? Have you tried it? Uh, yeah, I've dabbled in it a little bit. And how do you I feel? I hate them. They're the worst. It's the worst. The worst. Because you feel like the problem is with it, it's like you can meet people that you're interested in. You really don't know them. So right off the bat, you have to be interested in their pictures, mm -hmm. which we all know in real life. You can doctor you, you many You can have an attraction yeah, yeah. to somebody's picture, but everything in person is so much different. Right. Um, you know, and you can get turned off easily by something in, a, in their paragraph or their story True. or in a picture. True. But I just feel like people have so many opportunities and so many different people that they can connect with at once. Like me and you could go on a date, we hit it off, we have a great time, but you're right back on that dating site when you get home if you're bored, just looking to see who else is on there and then you connect with somebody yeah, else yeah. and then you pick up people and you wind up dropping off people. So it's like a, it's like a constant 
revolving door. And then you come across some of the same people you've already talked to uh, yeah. or, or somebody that you know. That's, yeah. And you know, funny that you would mention that. And I'm just going to, um, on a future date, uh, I do, I'm going to have a guest. Um, I actually met her at an event. Um, oh, shout out. I'm going to give a shout out to Ulysses Terrero for um, having this amazing networking party. Where we, uh, where there was artists that you know, uh, I didn't know what I was really coming into. Um, I, I believe he calls his networking the sauce. Um, and the I, sauce. I, the sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sauce. Um, there was. I, I don't know. I would hear something out because we were like a melting pot of different, you know, cultures, right. this and that, with different spices and different kind of. So it's like creating a sauce, and you know. Okay. So I really didn't even know what I was getting myself into. All I wanted to do was just to go to a party yeah. um, and mingle and meet. And when I actually uh, went to um, the place, it was actually up and coming artists mm -hmm. um, showcasing their stuff, and I was like, oh my god, this is exactly what I do. Like, oh my god, I need to connect. So um, with one of the amazing artists that was on there, um, I can across this young lady her name is um Let me, Natasha Aponte. So Natasha Aponte, um, she will be on the show at a later date as an artist singing. But as I'm looking um, to find, you know, stuff about her and see how she, I came across um, the site, or or she apparently became news uh, where she cited a lot of men on Tinder, yeah. made had dates with them, yeah. told them all. It's separately, obviously, to meet them at Union Square in the city for well, a I think date. I heard about this. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, and yeah, it yeah. turned out uh, there were hundreds of guys show this. up for the date. Yeah. So they say that it was a prank that went wrong, yeah. but more was like what she, they were trying to do was a social experiment. Yeah. So a lot of men obviously were uh, upset, they were yeah. angered, blah, blah, but others found it amusing and stood for what she turned into a dating game, right. you know? Right, right. And so Trying we to just like, wow, I didn't even know any of this. You know, I just saw her singing, because mm -hmm. she was amazing. I was like, oh, you need to come on the show, blah, blah, blah. And as I look her up, all this comes up. I was like, oh yeah. my God, I can't wait to have her on so we can really talk about that. Yes. You know, so, but Bobby, so let us know a little bit about this dating uh, game you have going. It's exciting. All right, so the dating game, uh, we're actually interviewing people who want to be contestants on the game. And what we're gonna do is basically, on, in the front, on the couch, we're going to have a host and we're going to have a person who's looking for a date. So, for instance, uh, be the host and uh, let's say we have a girl and she's allowed to bring one friend with her mm -hmm. to sit on the couch with her and help her. And we'll have three gentlemen back here okay. so they can ask questions but they can't see who they're talking right, okay. to. Right, and, and okay. The, and the friend can actually help her pick one. And in the end, she's going to choose one. And we have it sponsored by a restaurant is going to give a free dinner, you know, so okay. let them host. And we also Ooh, have... Um, I have to be here for that. We have a couple like <laughs> um, a Long Island, I'm not going to mention any names, we're negotiating, but um, a, a dating... Um, one of those where they're personal dating, not like a you know social right. media type of thing, where they actually it's like a matchmaking service. Right. Okay. They're mm -hmm. gonna be a sponsor on it, and we're putting it, we're interviewing people, and we're putting it together. So that is awesome. Right. So, so how can people apply? How can people apply to be? A uh, well, just email Rudy at strongisland.com. That's Rudy at strongisland.com, and we're taking um, applications as we speak. Okay, that is so amazing. So you single people out there that are looking for a date. And if I just may say one more thing, just to, you know, you're sharing like a lot of good news, you know, yeah. um, bringing up Rudy's Room, which is a show on Wednesday night from uh, 10 to 11. Shout you're out gonna, to Rudy. You're going to be on that soon. Yes, I will. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Uh, and, um, at the end of last year, we got picked up by a small cable network called STGN, and Woo. we started appearing in about 4 million homes. Wow. Uh, Atlanta, Georgia, Nashville, Tennessee, Huntsville, Alabama, and um, we just got into... Uh, a Texas market wow. and through that uh, another network saw us which is U2 America and they're on Time Warner Cable they're in 50 states and and starting in February we're gonna be in 40 million homes across the look world. at that wow. Hello, Strong Island TV. and then on top of that uh -oh. we were contacted by Spectrum which you see the commercials know, on TV yeah. Spectrum they own uh, RCN cable and other networks we have a meeting with them in January to discuss the future of Strong Island Television Whoa. as a possibility, yes it is, <laughs> as a possibility of actually having our own channel on the network. That's awesome. Good for you. Yay. That's, awesome. Good for you. That's right. amazing. Listen, if anybody deserves it, it's this man right here. Right? Okay. Absolutely. Hard work, perseverance, you see? Absolutely.
I, I, I totally look up to him. I, you know, everything that we talk about, so many things of how, when, when we were talking about before, when you have yeah. a passion to do something, yes. you want to do it. You do it because you want to and you, you don't let nothing, you have a vision. Yes. And, you know, uh, like him, you know, like many others like me, we do things on our own without any help. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I, I'm not, this is why I picked up what, what I'm doing now. It's like, I'm tired of waiting on people. For someone to do Who, it for why, me. Why, why? Give how me. did you do that? Wait, how did you, you do that? So if you do it, that I can do I it can too. Do you it know well. what? Let me just take a couple of minutes out of the day. Let me go, the biggest source that we have out there, which is the internet, internet. a YouTube, whatever it is. And I'm going to find out how to do it because you know yeah. what? I'm done, like mm. 2000, I'm done people doing things for me, I'm done waiting on people, like, yeah. no, 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 I'm gonna start taking charge, I'm gonna yes. do this, I'm gonna do that. So, with same with Bobby, Bobby's just like, I'm gonna do that, I'm not waiting for nobody, I yeah. have a vision. So, you know what it is? I'm you can't sometimes work with people because people don't have your same vision, mm. so they don't understand, and then you clash. It's your, it's your vision, it's not theirs. Right, it's you have vision. a clash, and then yeah. it's just like, why even go through the trouble of trying to do something with somebody else yep. when they don't understand? So might as well, you know, do everything you have to do on your own, and I admire Bobby for that, for, you know, doing everything that he does, you know, on his own. Well, well done, babe. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> You just gotta stay focused and mm. you can't worry about what everybody else is doing. Mm. You have to, you have a vision and you just, every day, yeah. there's a little saying that I kind of learned back in the day. It's constant and never ending improvement. It's mm. Every day, just do, even if it's one little thing, but every day you do one little thing. At the end of the week, you accomplish a lot. At the end of the month, you accomplish even more. Mm. At the end of the year, you look back and you, it's, you're amazed at what you did. So mm. every day you gotta do something. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, well, you know, like with that being said, always, what are we yapping so much? We don't even know. Look at the time. It's almost ending already. Um, I am so happy, you know, um, to have met so many wonderful people. I'm glad that you're in our lives. La listen, America. darlings, so this is my motto. If you see what you want, go for it. How did I meet you, Linda? Oh, my God. <laughs> so we were in the city. Uh, at a open mic that I just happened to <laughs> want to go visit and I'm on my way out you know it's over and here she comes storming in um, the wind just like almost knocked me out when she opened the doors I was just like blown away by her presence she was just like and she just like almost pinned me to the wall she's like darling you're gorgeous who are you I'm like uh, well, and I was like, uh, Linda, I'm like, oh, uh, well, and I don't know what she just said. All I know is Around like, okay, here's my card. Exactly, you know? she gave me her card. I was like, oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, I want to speak to and you. And what was it, like a couple of weeks, maybe a month later yeah. or something like that? And then you yeah. happen to be like living in the same and town. That, exactly. Uh, how, exactly. Did, how does that right? happen? You meet in the city unknowingly, yeah. and here you are trying to make plans in the city, in the thinking city. that we're from the city. Yes. And we're like, no, I Seven minutes away from we're each like, other. We're like, what? No, you, no, I'm in Babylon. No, no yeah. you were, look, what? Like, we were just so amazed and blown yeah. by this whole, like, so definitely that that's like a sign that it was meant to be. I think seeing what you want or having the vision for what you want and not being afraid to go for it. Do you know what I mean? Because you could fail, and like Lady Macbeth says, if we fail, we fail. But at least you, but you don't know, you don't try. Exactly. Yeah. That's my model. Absolutely. I'll tell you, and last you... night I was, I'll tell you, I've been like fighting this cold. throat thing. Yeah. I had a cold last week. I was fine. I literally, literally was only sick for two days. But you know when you get that like lingering, it's like lingering, throat thing to cough and yeah. the scratchy throat and you wake up and you have like that. Eh, eh. Yeah. I was supposed to sing last night. I got upset because I did rehearsal. It sounded horrible. Mm. I was really like just bummed out like. This isn't gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to sing. I'm gonna sound like crap. Like, I've come so far to try to prove myself as a singer, especially to a lot of the people that were there, like that have known me for years, but don't take me seriously. Mm -hmm. So I felt like this was my opportunity to prove yeah. to myself yes. and to other people, like I have a talent. I might not have my own music. I'm working on it still. I'm trying to take the time now to do that, but just to show my talent. And I was so bummed because I, I honestly was. I thought that it wasn't going to sing, and I just was like, you know, all that prep and all that, yeah. you know, yeah. you, you know, you, Your mental you, you fuck yourself mm -hmm. in the head up because mm -hmm. you think about it so much and you yeah. stress, like, what am I wearing? You know, we go shopping, what am I wearing? What looks yeah. good on stage? What's appropriate? Yeah. And I just, like, at the end of the night, I just almost literally gave up because I was like, I mean, this isn't going to happen, and... I'm, I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't want to embarrass the team Them. of people that are giving me the opportunity. Yeah. And but you didn't. But so I, well, um, I just, like I said, I drank some whiskey. I <clears throat> wiped it off my shoulder. I said, said I'm going to go up there. I, I shortened it. it. I was supposed to do a longer set, but mm -hmm. I shortened it. 
And um, this is just the I beginning. Just this is a stepping stone. I just was you know? happy I got to at least make my presence known a yes. little bit, even if I didn't feel like I sounded my best. Um, I still tried my best, and it came out much better than and I expected. And you looked great. So. Not being and funny, that was not thing. being shallow, looked, but you looked great. I feel so. like I looked. You know, I I did my own hair, did my own makeup. Like right. I did, I do it all for myself. Yeah. You know, I I just felt like in the moment, like I was like, you know what, I'm happy. I'm starting the year off how I want to start it off. Yes. I'm not going to have any doubts. I'm not going to have any negative mm. energy. I'm not going to let anybody make me feel like I'm not good enough, whether it be with singing or relationships or yes. friendships. Like, yeah. I'm just done. Like, And if people don't want to support or they don't want to know what I'm doing or care about what I'm doing, that's fine. Like, I don't care F anymore. I never Bye. really did, but Bye. even more so now, I'm not going to hold back because I feel like I'm not going to get anywhere with it or people mm. are not going to no. talk to what and I'm doing. It's all like. about no. now is focusing on us, knowing if we have that passion and you have a vision, just go for it. Forget about what people are going to think because, like she said, it, even if you fail, then you can't go any lower than failing, Thank but you, you got to start from somewhere. Thank so you. there's only two ways. Either right? you stay where you are or you're going to have, yes. you're going to grow. Yeah. So how do you know if you don't go if you don't take that step? Exactly. You know, and for this new year, I, all I want for people is just good vibe. Yes. Good vibe. Yes. Yes. Great yes. energy. Yes. Yes. Good energy. Yes. You know, leave all that bull crap mm. behind. Mm -hmm. Like I have my little emoji, grab that garbage. 2018 crap put, put it, it away <laughs> like enough like let's just focus on us yeah um that's what i'm doing i am so happy you know i am the most grateful person there is out there my mm. family is the mm. most precious thing i have in my life mm. that is all Amen. i care about my little my little team Amen. um and i we just had dinner and i just you know and i let them know thank you so much for them being so um supportive and you know and, and it, it's only going to get better from here because yeah. of their love and support. Exactly. Is that I'm able to do what I'm doing, and I'm going to continue, and I'm going to grow. And I just love you all. She's so Amen. dramatic. She's so dramatic. I love you all. We so. love you. Oh, we love you. And thank you, everybody. <coughs> Happy, New Happy New Year. Happy um, New Year. Great things to come. Please stay tuned. Um, join in and... Um, the Strong Island TV Network, so you can check out all the other shows that are going in as well. Uh, this year is going to be amazing, amazing mm, shows, mm, revamp, new mm, things happening. Mm. We're making it exciting for you guys, so you can Amen. tune in and you know and have fun. And um, and that's all. So happy New Year! Happy um, New thank Year! Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Yay. Adios.